It's a familiar sight in China now. Fugitives facing corruption charges being brought back home from overseas to face justice. At the Interpol General Assembly in Beijing, President Xi called on Interpol to work harder to chase fugitives. It won support from officials of some major Western powers, including France. We are trying to work very close with China about this subject. Uh, I, I know that uh, two fugitives will send back to China, and we are working to, together to do the best work as possible. China's international manhunt has brought home over 3,000 fugitives and recovered nearly 9 billion yuan, or around 1.2 billion U.S. dollars worth of ill-gotten wealth. Human rights advocates have voiced concerns over the neutrality of Interpol. Critics fear Beijing may use the mechanism to hunt down dissidents. It's a fear Interpol officials say it's unfounded. We have been significantly increasing internally our legal mechanism um, to uh, assess every single red notice request that comes from any of our member countries, and we all uh, treat this request seriously, uh, check them against our rules, uh, and again, at the end, these red notices enable our member countries um, to track uh, criminal activity and to arrest fugitives. Here are some alarming figures from the Interpol General Assembly in Beijing. Since 9-11 attack, there have been over 70,000 terrorist attacks around the world. And of the 170 million cyber crimes committed every year, only one in a thousand cases is ever solved. In 2016, Chinese police investigated over 2,500 cases under the request of Interpol. That's a sharp increase of 140 percent compared to 2015. Interpol President Mr. Man Hongwei. Last year, the Interpol elected a Chinese official to be its president for the first time in history. Beijing says it's determined to leave criminal suspects with no safe haven in the world. Han Peng, CGTN, Beijing.